Hello, my name is Paul Wynn. I'm from Greenpeace. Um, I'm, at, I'm in Bonn uh, uh, at the Climate Talks, the United Nations Climate Talks in Germany. Um, and uh, I work on uh, a little known area of the Climate Talks with an unfortunate acronym of LULUCF, which is Land Use Change, Land Use Change in Forestry. It's basically the emissions that, uh, that arise from logging and, uh, and agriculture, and uh, as well as uh, the, the climate um, uh, greenhouse gases that are sequestered or um, absorbed by forests. Um, it basically operates by uh, 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 countries uh, adding up their emissions or their, um, their removals from forests and agriculture, and this uh, offsets um, fossil fuel um, emission reductions. So it's very, very critical that uh, LULUCF emissions and removals are accounted for in a, in a robust uh, and, and, and confident manner because they do have the effect that it means that countries will reduce emissions less from their fossil fuel emissions. Um, the LULUCF negotiations at the moment here in Bonn are at a very critical stage. We're getting very, very close to seeing negotiations finalised um, around a set of rules that are very, very poor. Um, if, it were, if they were uh, applied to other sectors, there would be an outcry uh, across the world. But unfortunately, not many people know about this sector. Um, it's a very technical area um, and uh, it's very, very difficult um, to explain it uh, to, to most people. But I'll, I'll try. Um, the main issue that's being discussed here at the moment is around forest management. And that is the emissions that come from logging forests um, and, uh, and the, the, the absorption of carbon dioxide from growing forests. And this is in developed countries, in rich, um, wealthy, uh, wealthy countries, which is different than the, um, the, the red or reducing emissions from deforestation that is also being discussed here, which is in tropical uh, developing countries. So forest management in developed countries uh, the rules that are being negotiated here have basically allowed uh, wealthy countries to set their own uh, uh, baseline or their, their own level on which they base whether their forests have either emitted carbon dioxide or whether their forests have removed carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And uh, allowing countries to set their own uh, uh, baseline uh, has led to a great deal of uh, potential emissions from logging to go un unaccounted for. Um, what this will mean is that basically across all uh, rich countries in the world about 400 to 500 megatons, 500 million tons of carbon dioxide is likely to be ignored in the accounting. Uh, and that is uh, very, very poor management because it means that countries can increase the logging of forests and increase the emissions that result from that logging without having to uh, include those emissions in their accounting. Uh, so we're, we're trying very, very hard to overturn uh, these rules or at least um, introduce some uh, rules that might uh, uh, minimise the damage that, has, that may be created. One of those ways is to put a cap on the amount of, uh, of sequestration or the amount of removals uh, that a country can account for from its forests. And that will at least mean that uh, uh, these, these rules won't lead to excessive amounts of offsets uh, and uh, may, may limit the damage of the rules that, are, that, are, that have currently been, been negotiated. Um, we're also looking at uh, trying to introduce a, um, a, a, a review process where uh, countries have to justify their inflated baselines uh, against an historical average. So you look at what the forest was doing in the past and uh, project that into the future. And if it doesn't align with the baseline the country has set itself, then a review team can adjust that baseline accordingly. We're not sure whether that, um, whether that amendment will be successful, um, but we're still hoping. Now, what what you can do is to put pressure on your governments. Um, we really need to make sure that this issue is, 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 is outed and, and that people understand that, 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 that uh, uh, rules that allow countries to emit without, without having to account for them shouldn't be allowed in a, 
in a, in a convention or in a protocol that is itself about reducing emissions and trying to avoid climate tipping points. If we allow these rules in the CF, then we're very often going to, we're very likely to see these kind of rules being imposed in other sectors, which would be a travesty. It's a travesty itself in the CF, but if it were to uh, uh, start to to become more widespread, then we would likely to see many countries um, uh, being able to uh, increase emissions without having to account for it. So it would be great if, if um, people could actually start contacting their governments and telling them that they, don't, that they want their, these countries to account for the emissions from, the fo from their forest sectors to, to uh, realistically uh, account for them and remove the emissions that are currently being caused by logging in those countries. Thank you very much.